Good morning, monkeys. Welcome to another episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic Scenario Series here on Coaster Monkey Studios. Have a really great episode for you guys today. We're going to wrap up the lakefront area uh, and then we're going to move on to an all new area where we're going to start to create our children's section. Oh my god. <sighs> Who's excited for that? Because I'm totally stoked. Um, yeah, so uh, we're going to get into this episode, uh, just gonna right into it. Here we've got our haunted house getting built up. And again, a lot of times when I build my haunted houses, I do them in the exact same way. Um, with the very haunted mansion type feel, i.e. Disney World. Uh, so that's what you're going to see here. Again, I had requested... You know, if you guys, I, I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear what you got to say. Um, I have been requesting now uh, for feedback from you guys. Any and all input, I'm totally open to. Uh, good, bad, ugly, you put a, a thumbs down. Tell me why you put a thumbs down. Put a thumbs up. Tell me why you put a thumbs up. Uh, yeah, because that's what this is all about. I want it to be interactive. I want it to be fun. I want you to have input here. But... And one of the things I'd requested from you guys, has anyone here ever wrapped their haunted house with scenery around it? I think that's something I'm going to try in the next park I do that's much larger. Whereas we'll be able to build some type of a building facade around the actual haunted house structure itself. Um, and make a haunted mansion ride or a haunted ride, but not per se with that exact skin on it. And we'll create a skin around it. Um, but that'll be in the next episode. In this episode now, we're wrapping up our lakefront. Or not next episode, next series possibly. Uh, but right now we're going to wrap up our lakefront. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a food installation here. Uh, and we're going to have, you know, obviously two of these around the lake. We're going to have another small one up top by our kids area. We're going to do another large one by the final area we create, which is going to be a big, big exciting secret. Uh, <laughs> in the very back of the park, which will be super fun. Um, yeah, so here we're just building out a food outlet. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a pier. Um, that's something I love to do whenever there's a lake. I love to have a pier, uh, you know, and in this we're going to do it very much so in the style of, you know, a resort side pier, right? So it's going to have... You know, three very simple rides, nothing too crazy on it. But um, the structure that we built the food installation around, right? This is going to be very reminiscent of that haunted house feel. Now, remember, like we were talking about it in earlier episodes, how do you change the vibe of an area just by the buildings that are around there, right? So we've got to our left here, we've got this logging slash pre-industrial or... or, or you know, uh, junior, not junior, I want to say, you know, early age industrial river slash mining corporation type deal. On the right, we've got this post-industrial, uh, you know, mining, not warehouse, mining warehouse, but warehouse up to our right. And in the center here, we've got this like spooky-esque feeling. And that's what I wanted to create with this, this food installation. It's a giant spooky building uh and that's the whole idea i went with this one and you'll kind of see how this one plays out and how we build out onto our pier um i'm gonna leave you guys to the building for a couple moments and yeah i will catch you guys in a bit
All right, so as we return back to you guys here, now what I'm doing at this point, and just to give you some insight and ideas, or an idea of what I'm doing, I'm building out with base blocks, basically the size of the pier that I want to create. And what I'm then going to do is I'm then going to come around and I'm going to build all of the pathways that I'd like to see above it. Once those are built, I'm then going to come back and I'm going to delete the base blocks out from underneath so you get to see the framework underneath all of the pathways as well as the rides so it gets that you know kind of steel pier type feel and I think that's a really great name for this this uh, area we'll call it steel pier right we're gonna make sure that it is very reminiscent to the rest of the the lakefront area even though this is a different area of the park it is lakefront right so we're gonna have all these rides themes and themed in that same color which play really well with this like tan and green uh scary-esque building we've created here now we do run into a little bit of an issue uh and actually in the episode that i'm filming right now that i'm recording not voice recording, but, but uh, visual uh, video recording, uh, where I actually had to create some sort of a structure at the end of the pier because we end up with a lot of laggers, um, which is a thing, right? We know about laggers, and, and uh, I will show you guys how I combat that. I've done it in my last series, in the uh, RCT Classic series, where I created my own scenario. Majority of the park had my tip and trick which is you know creating different types of walkways underneath the ground crossing expanse large expanses to get from one area to the next where the laggers culminate uh and that's something that it, it, it's probably the easiest trick i've ever you know been able to create right it's it's super quick it's super easy you don't have random pathways all over your park you put them underground with one maintenance guy to walk up and down the strip to make sure it's clean and uh, it's, it's basically like the underground uh, tunnels underneath Walt Disney. Excuse me. So that's what we were able to do here, which I, I, I'm very, very excited for. Uh, and I'll show you guys in the next episode. Uh, it should be the next episode based on when this is, when this is being recorded and when the next one is being filmed. Um, so I think if I'm correct, don't correct, don't, you know, I think this is for next Saturday. Uh, currently, it's this Saturday that I'm filming this. This is for next Saturday that um, this video will be posted. It'll be the following Tuesday. You'll see that video. And that video might be the second to last video, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, so I'm currently filming the second to last video. And um, this series is almost done for Leafy Lake uh, from a filming standpoint. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, back to the video here. So we are just, uh, again, closing out our lakefront. And uh, I decided I wanted to do, you know, thinking of this whole industrialized area, I wanted to create uh, a very mechanical ride, right? So when you think of the top spin, it's very mechanical. Um, I would almost think of also like a cyborg spin, or for those of you that are familiar with, you know, uh, Six Flags Over Texas. Uh, Harley Quinn Spin Sanity. That type of ride would really be great here. But since we don't have that in this game, we are going to put in a top spin. <sighs> I love the top spin. I personally like the top spin a lot, especially the ones that utilize the water effects. I think they're fantastic. There used to be one in Kings Island that was themed to Tomb Raider, which was crazy. Now they turned the building that it was in into a haunted uh, building for their Halloween haunt, which is a little depressing, but um, you know, again, I wish you know that ride still existed there. But anyway, so top spin. So we put the top spin in this elevated, uh, elevated platform here. We put iron girders around it. We then throw some, some fencing around it, uh, chain link fence. And what I love about chain link fence is it gives that very industrial feel, right? Uh, so that's why we went forward with that. We just throw up some simple roofing for the pathway here, uh, just to continue on with this theme of this angled roof. Um, and then we wrap up this entire section of the park, which, you know, again, I'm super excited we got this done. So yeah, so a little bit of what's going on with the channel. So for those of you that don't know, 
Uh, at this point right now, when this is being recorded, tomorrow, I am going to Six Flags Great Adventure to uh, visit the uh, drive through safari that's there, which they're opening up. It's the first, basically the first park in the Northeast that's going to be open. Uh, here in America, in the States, we've got a couple of the fun spots that have opened up. I think a couple of other uh, parks have opened up. Small parks have opened up around the country. Nothing major yet. No Cedar Fair, no Six Flags parks. But this will be the first Six Flags park that's opening up. And I'm super excited for it. It's going to be amazing. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Six Flags uh, drive through Safari. Uh, there's been a Safari ride in the Six Flags park now since 2012. But prior to 2012, it used to be a separate drive through park. Uh, and that's what they've reinstated during uh, this current climate that we're in. Um, so with that being said, what we did was is we're going to be going there tomorrow. I'm super excited. So by the time you guys see this video, that video should already be posted. So definitely check out the vlog uh, for that. It's super fun. Uh, Coaster Monkey Studios and CJ's Crazy Coaster Crew are going to be together. Uh, not only in the car, but we're also going to go over uh, you know, to Prosper Town Lake to get some good shots of the Jersey Devil Coaster as well as Nitro from the other side of the lake. So that's going to be super awesome. And yeah, that's that's more or less it. Um, and back to the video here, as you see, we finished up our pier, which looks pretty cool. Um, and we're gonna move into our next area, which is gonna be our kids area. So with the kids area, I, I had a couple of you know a couple of moments and trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do this and how I wanted to make it, you know, vibrant and different. You'll see I do a couple of iterations of this coaster here. But what I decided to do, and you're going to see in a moment, is that I build out this coaster. I love that drop too, like right over the, the chasm there. And it does this like figure eight spin around itself. And then we wrap it around here. And I love what I do here. Watch this. So I was going to bring it around this way. Then I realized I ate up a lot of that, that area in the front. And I was trying to get it to go underneath, and I was like, how can I, how can I do it? It won't work. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I love the way it looks too with like that figure eight kind of feel. But I wound up wrapping it around, and, and look at how this works out. I love this. It comes back around up over here. There it is, look at that. This worked out really well. I'm, I'm very pleased with the way this coaster, uh, this coaster looks. And again, it's a kiddie coaster, so we don't want, it doesn't need high excitement, it does need high intensity. Uh, the intention is for it to be a family coaster, not a kiddie coaster, a family coaster, a junior coaster. Um, so yeah, so we theme that one out in the green and brown to make it like it's a tree topper because that's going to be the whole the whole vibe of this area. It's going to be very, very cartoony and that's the intention uh, that I want to create here. Look at how great that looks. I love it. We wind up in a later episode uh, putting in a block right there and running two trains uh, because the one train just wasn't enough. That's how popular this ride got. So. But as I, I build this area out now, I'm trying to figure out how this is all going to work. And then I think about, you know, the helicopter ride tree top, tree top copters, tree top toppers, tree toppers, something to that effect. Um, I, I got this idea when I was sitting here and I wanted to build out this helicopter ride and have it go over this whole area. And then even over that, that bridge there and over the, the chasm that's there. Chasm, chasm, chasm. You know what I mean. Uh, but I wanted to go over that. And this little small helicopter ride actually expands quite a bit uh, because I wanted to throw a couple of the rides in there. But this kind of closes out our whole kitty area. And as you see, I'm changing out the pathing because why? Well, we want to create a different feeling through our, our, our pathing as well. Now, it's something you'll notice about me. Whenever I go to a park, I look at everything. I look at the floor, I look at the ceiling, I look at the walls. I want to be engulfed by that environment. And that's what we're creating here. We're creating that same type of, of feeling of being uh, engulfed by an environment. 
Now, what's great about this too is we've got uh, the chairlift that comes up and lets us out right at this little plaza we created for this kids area up on the top of this plateau, uh, which I, I, I truly enjoyed, to be honest with you. And then we wind up building all this out. And this does change over time. You know, going into the next episode, you'll see there's a massive change that happens, uh, which I'm currently, you know, recording right now, filming right now. But absolutely love the way this this ride came out and all of the theming around it and the, the garden work. There's a lot of garden work. And, you know, I kind of took the inspiration from the and you know, correct me, guys, you put it down in the, the comments if you want the area, the new area of Dollywood. Uh, I forget the name of it, but it, something Grove. Oh, darn it. You guys are going to mutilate me for not knowing this. But but yeah, so long story short, this is where I get a lot of the idea from this area because it reminded me a lot of like the Dollywood area uh, with the whole Grove area and whatnot. So, but yeah, so all of this is put down and and what I did was I placed the, ride, the rides first and then I went back. And I placed all of the path work, right? Now, this is what I thought was really cool about this whole thing, is I was able to build out the path work and do one massive open planned path. And you're gonna see how this plays out in a moment here. But I really enjoyed the way this came out. It looks great. The final iteration that I'm filming right now just looks, I mean, it looks ridiculous, uh, to be honest with you. And I was always building up this here. I was like, you know what? We need more, we need more, more ground to walk. Like, look how tight that looks, right? Uh, so I wind up opening it all up and, and doing a lot of uh, excavating and construction work and building that up for the groundwork there. Give it a moment. It's gonna look so dope in a second. Now again, you go, you sit here and you you think. Oh my God, how did he, how did he come up with this idea? You know, in all honesty, it just kind of flows. You got to go with the flow, you know, and I can't stress that enough. You know, whatever happens, happens, you know, don't think too much on it. You know, just think to yourself, okay, how can I make this? How can I make this as seamless and easy as possible for my guests to, to walk through, but also create a, an all engulfing environment that is, um, literally you know absorbing you into its its, its clutches you know uh, it's a very dramatic way to put it but you know when I think about uh, you know this type of an area you know going back to my statement about Disney you want to get lost in the magic you know and that's what we're doing here we're creating a, a scenario or an, an area that that just engulfs you in its magic you know it's a very ethereal feeling it's very you know you're lost in the in, in the woods of the fairyland or whatever and the fa you know you're completely engulfed in this environment i know i'm rambling a little bit about it but i'm gonna wrap the video up here guys i hope you enjoyed it so far i cannot wait for the next episode because the next episode looks so dope coaster monkey studios on instagram facebook twitter you can find me everywhere patreon subscribe here for more guys uh thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next episode ciao